is Abby from Make a Life Your Runway. It is New Year's Day as I film this, so Happy New Year's. I hope you guys had a wonderful evening, whatever you did. Uh, I know this is the time where we are ready to refresh and renew and to reset, so no time. <laughs> No better time than to clean this beauty room together. I had hoped to get to it during Vlogmas, but it didn't happen. But that's fine. It's better to just do it new year, new start, fresh start, all those wonderful things. So if you like beauty room clean with me, then you are in the right place. Grab a snack or maybe go to your beauty area, whether that's your bathroom, your bedroom, or you have a little beauty room, wherever it is, and let's knock this out and have a nice fresh start. So let's do it. Here we go. Okay, so here here's the game plan. This room is small, so let's just start there. It's a small room. It's just off my kitchen. I think it was maybe supposed to be like a breakfast nook, or you could make it like a food pantry. I don't really know what its purpose is, because I think it's a little small to be like to have a table in here for a nook. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> That's where all of this beauty roomness happens, but because it's so small and with the furniture in here, it just takes a few things out of place for it to look messy, and then you add a few more things to it, and then it's just a disaster where you're just like stepping over things to get to this chair. So we filmed Vlogmas, so stuff kind of got just dumped in here from that. Went uh, out of town for family, so like beauty bags and all that stuff just got dumped in here. Um, and then I did that haul, that was my last video posted, so all of that's dumped in here. So we really just need to move the trash out, organize the stuff that's sitting back to its home, because it does have a home, just isn't in it. <laughs> Uh, take out the dirty makeup brushes so I can clean those. Not in this video. <laughs> One thing at a time. And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just do all this together, but then I can start filming the other videos that you guys are so excited to see, like my Project Pan uh, finale from 2021, my Project Pan intro for, for 2022, my makeup empties for the year because we have a basket full of them, and all of those beautiful things. So... I feel like I can't film those videos yet because when I walk in here, I just see stuff and I'm like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> so I'm going to give you an overview as our first step. Then uh, parts of it will be sped up as I just clear things out and we'll just do it together. Okay. Okay. So we come in here. I'll just turn around. This is what we are working with. Do an overview. So this is skincare that I just hauled. Basically this box and those two blue bins was from this U-Haul box which was a huge mystery makeup box sent to me by you guys. Um, so that's what this is. So I just need to um, take the box out. But the skincare I want to put in a bag to put in my um, hallway closet. Hey Morty and so that it's easy to grab as I need it. So that's gonna be pulled out. These blue bins will probably just be pushed along to the side so that we can continue to use that makeup. Here on the side, a couple months ago, my kitchen had some work done. We resurfaced the cabinet doors and some things had got put in here. There's a water bottle, mask, and a compost bin that is empty, obviously, um, that just never got put back in the kitchen. Then we have some storage bins that I don't all, it's like sometimes I just rotate through them with their purpose. Sometimes they don't always have a purpose. Sometimes they do, but I like to keep them close. Um, this was from 
the uh, makeup mystery box. There was, those are brushes. These are empties over here that I had filmed a long time ago. Um, some bags that just need to be put away. Some more storage that needs to, I don't know, maybe just stay there. Um, here is makeup, my makeup from the year that we're going to go over. Some storage. Brushes that need to be clean, brushes that are clean, mostly just need to wipe this area down, really. Um, and then this is makeup that we have decluttered together, so that needs to have a home and we need to work through that. All right, let's start with taking the trash out. Oh, I need a trash bag. All right, let's do this. We'll speed this part up, okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort the makeup, or I'm sorry, the skincare into these bags so that they're easy to grab and store in that closet. So I think I will do serums in one um, and pull out things from the box unless the item doesn't have like directions on the box. But... I think they would store easier not being in the box. And some things I want to pull out and use right away, like this Joer, 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 Joer. <laughs> this is the Essential Lip Enhancer. So I definitely want to use that right away. Um, so I'll get rid of that box. And we'll just kind of speed up through this process. I just went ahead and took all the packaging off of. Is he stuck? Okay, took all the packaging off of so I can wash them. So I put them here with my dirty brushes. These I have, these beauty sponges, I have a spot up top. So I'll just sit those 
up there to get them off the floor. This is a second brush set, um, exact same as one that I just took the plastic off. I was going to take it all off, but I thought, let me use that one and see if I want any duplicates. And if I decide I'm good with the ones I have, then I can um, give this away. But I thought I would just leave it in one place until I've made that decision. Um, and here's what we have. So we have a bag full of serums. Then we have a bag full of masks, both face masks and regular masks. And then um, I have like cleansers and moisturizers in here. So I'm going to go move these to the restroom, take this bag of trash out, and we're doing big things, y'all. All right, here's the progress since we moved the trash out and took care of the skincare. So we're already, we're doing big things over here. So the next thing I want to do is basically this section, move this stuff out and just reorganize all through here. These are all of my travel bags and I also have like some equipment here. I'm going to take that out. Alright, so you know it's hard for me to get rid of these because you know you have different needs for them. Um, they're nice to give away as gifts. Like if you're giving away like makeup or something, it's nice to just throw it in a makeup bag. Uh, for the person so I do like to keep them around even though this is a lot so I love this brush holder I used to use it for my daily brushes but now I just use it if I am traveling um, and I love this huge one as well but you know the one that I reach for the most when I travel is actually this one that came uh, with an Ulta gift what was it like an Ulta sample set because I can fit so much in here and it's just I don't know it's really nice but we're gonna keep all of these so I'm just gonna reorganize them I feel like I'm always looking for this I'm just gonna make a mental note okay this is <laughs> you guys will enjoy this so this has some stuff that is for depotting makeup but the Mia palette, oh geez, y'all know we worked on that one for a whole year before we got rid of it. But it came with these cards of the looks to make with the uh, palette. And I don't know why I've held on to them over the years, but we're going to keep holding on to them. I feel, do makeup palettes still come with that kind of thing? I don't even know. Um, so we're pressing all of these in here. This one's a little big. Where will it fit? This is a travel bag. I've had this one for so long. But I feel like these things, when you get rid of them, you immediately like need it. So we'll just keep it. This is another bag that's nice to travel with and it came from BoxyCharm a few years back. I just love that one. This guy on top. Okay, and then I have a couple over here as well. These are from Amazon and this one is for beauty products. And then this one is for makeup. Also, I did a video on our travel makeup bag that has, it's not beauty, it's just skincare. 
and that we always have prepared so that video was a part of vlogmas and i linked everything that was in that video as well um so you can go check that out but that's kind of our our go-to but i do want to keep these on hand because you never know when you'll need them um so i just keep them all in here got one and then they sit in the shelf over here all right and then this one has decluttered makeup to give away so i need to add the makeup that's on the shelf over there to this and then it also has my oh y'all can't see it also has my brushes in here and these are clean makeup brushes so oh, there's more equipment i need to not i don't know i just need to organize this better all right so i have some clean brushes on my vanity over there that i need to add to these so these are face brushes i got these from meyer um a while back but i like that they have a lid i mean you can find anything that has a lid but i think storing your brushes with a, something with a lid is a nice thing to do so these are all clean so let's see how we can organize them and I'm actually, I think I can get rid of a couple of these. Let me just check that out first. So there's a few out of the face brushes that we can declutter. I'm going to pass those along to my brother and uh, sister-in-law because she actually wears makeup. But if she doesn't want any of those, my brother told me he would like my old brushes for art. <laughs> so I'll just send it to them. All right, going through these guys. And then that brush set that we left together will just sit on top. And then the makeup decluttered, or decluttered makeup, sit here. And that's good to go. I actually went ahead and just put all that decluttered makeup in a bag so that it's ready to go when I go see family. Because I'm going to see them in like a week. And I know... <laughs> If I leave it up to getting ready to be the time that I would like to pack all this up, we will not have time for it. So I'm just going to have this and sit it to the side. Um, and then I did pull a couple of things out of the makeup that we decluttered during Vlogmas. So all of this makeup was decluttered during Vlogmas or past um, makeup declutter. So we decluttered all of that together at some point. But I wanted to take out the bronzer and this primer because I was watching someone's declutter video. Oh, Mariella's. And she showed a Z palette that had face products in it. And I thought it would be kind of cool to, because this is magnetic, this bronzer, to make a little Z palette of face products 
products to maybe travel with or something. So I'm going to keep that. And then this Bleed Beauty Primer, um, Emily Noel had it in her awards, like, for the year. She loves it. So I thought we'd actually give it more more of a shot so pull these guys out all right so this whole area has been cleaned out which i love so i'm just gonna pull this out and sweep and wipe down that area watch out morty come on morty go go Okay, so I usually just buy cleaners in the concentrate form and then add water and put it in a spray bottle. So this is Mr. Clean, but we're just going to wipe down this floor area, mostly trying to get the baseboards. I'm going to clean this mirror. I probably should have moved the shelf first, but... This is just spray weight, glass cleaner, and a paper towel. Right, next, I'm going to use wood cleaner. This one is from Method and a different cloth to wipe this off because there's a lot of dust on here. Um, it's kind of funny because Morty is only six pounds, so he, he can work in this tight space. But Lily is like 40 pounds, so she's trying to be in here too. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so tight. Um, so we're working through a lot over here. <laughs> but let me take everything off and wipe this down. So fun fact about this cart or shelf, I got it when I was in high school from Pier 1. And I've had it ever since. It's been going strong. It's made it, it went to college with me, all my first apartments, uh, and then obviously it's here. It's nice because it folds up. And, uh, these type of bins fit nicely on it. It's like a simple design, so it works in a lot of different spaces. Yeah, I've been riding with this for a long time. Alright, so we are all good to go over here. So in this corner, I'm going to put some bins there that are just storage and I swap these kind of things out often so I like to have them close by so I have I have this tripod here so I'll just leave it there that's for lights then I have this one this is random <laughs> bunch of random equipment and storage but kind of wondering this was given to me by a family member kind of wondering if I want to set this out on my vanity or like I'd have to clean it up but or just leave it to the side I think I'll just leave it to the side for now so I'm not really going to go through this much right now I'm just going to stick it to this this corner Next up, we have these bins. This is makeup that was sent in that uh, makeup mystery box that I sorted by eyes in one bin and then face in another bin. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take the makeup out of these, or the, yeah, makeup out of the boxes so that it's just the makeup in here. Um, I think that's just going to make more sense. So let's do that.
thinking the clear things out. I just think those are so annoying. I know some people keep them in their palettes through their whole lifespan with the palette, but I just can't be bothered to do that. Because then it falls every time you open it. By the way, this little uh, matching outfits from Gap, I had mentioned it in my last haul video, but it came in the mail last night. I'll, it's linked in that other video. I'll try to remember to link it in this video as well, but it's a size medium and it's super comfy and I like that it's a crew neck and not a hoodie. These are just, you know, the hair gets wrapped up in them. It's just too much, too much. Ooh, do you guys keep them when they're like slideys like this? I'm going to, oh, yeah, okay, fine. I'll keep this one, it's pretty. gonna be easier to grab things and see what's in here so we'll just leave this to the side and then we're gonna do the same thing with this one but I'll do it off camera because this is gonna take me a minute look how much trash came from doing that all of these boxes and little clear papers so that definitely saved a ton of space. All right, here is an update. Y'all love it. So this shelf needs to be wiped down and redecorated a little bit, but as far, other than that, everything looks good on this side of the room. We have everything cleared out, vacuumed, wiped down. We are organized over here. So the next part is going to be just cleaning off the vanity. I'm not going to go through the drawers today, but that's definitely something that needs to be done at some point. Um, so we will wipe down this and kind of clear that up and do the floor on this side. And then this just needs a wipe down mostly on the top because I recently cleaned the shelves off when I was reorganizing. So we are in a good place. It feels great. So my ring light typically sits right here in this area. And then when I film, we're facing from this area so you can get the light from my vanity. And then also these hanging lights and the chair just sits in the center. Um, so it's important that this space stay pretty clear for the light and the tripod for the camera. But I do typically need to store stuff just in this little corner. It's just helpful uh, for video ideas or depending on what the products are. I don't like to put them away until the video is fully published in case something goes wrong and I have to refilm it. Um, so that's why we get situations like those empties sitting there for a long time. So I'm going to go eat lunch. Uh, so I'm going to take a break on my end, but it will only be about a second on your end. And we will get to cleaning off this vanity is actually a desk, but I use it as a vanity. All right, it's a gloomy, rainy day today as I film this. So I have the, the lights on so bright in here. It's a little obnoxious, but it looks good on the camera. So we good. Okay, so we, we're here now. We need to just basically put some things away and wipe stuff down. I would like to go through and reorganize what's in these drawers. I'll give you a little overview in this video, um, but I just don't really have that energy in me today. Uh, plus, I think it would be nice to do that separately uh, when I've been kind of enjoying the space clean again and I can decide what I really want to use these drawers for. But I will give you a little overview this is a junk drawer and what I would like to do in here is organize it better but uh, move my brushes in here that I use on the day to day. Um, here is um, hair tools. This is trash actually but I do have another one up here and I just keep it in here. So this is something else I'd like to organize. Some of these I'd like to move to my bathroom because um, I 
typically get ready more often throughout the week than I do in here. Here's for the days that I have time to sit down and do my makeup. So that only happens a couple times a week. So it would be nice to kind of reorganize and shift things around so that then maybe I could put things like my makeup empties and beauty empties in here um, so they're not sitting out. I don't know, just random thoughts. We'll see what happens. And then down here is super random. Um, who's been watching my channel, my weekly makeup baskets for years? Who remembers that this used to be where all my makeup fit? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was like over five years ago. All of my makeup would fit in here. And now like it might fit in there, but you're not going to be able to get to any of it. <laughs> I have hot rollers, which I feel like that even though I never use them, it's just something that I feel like as soon as you get rid of them, you're like, oh man, I would like some hot rollers. <laughs> um, but I have um, backup camera equipment, just random stuff. I also keep in here nail stuff. Um, this is what I, this is just a regular bar of soap that I use for my brushes. So actually I need to take this out for now so I can do my brushes later, not in this video. I bought a pack of glass nail files off Amazon because it was just cheaper to get a pack. So I, this isn't even all of them. These are just the leftovers. So I'm sat on those for a year, if not more. But I do want to put, I like leaving like my acetone, my nail polish acetone in here. And I like keeping the pump bottles and then refilling them with this big guy. So we'll leave this in there. And I don't, does it matter if you mix brands of acetone? Because they're different brands. So I don't know if I need to empty this completely before I add in this one. Or maybe it doesn't matter. I'm not really sure how that works. But all right, this is helpful. We got rid of, not got rid of, but we uh, moved some stuff around from the top. This is alcohol and a spray bottle, so I use that to sanitize my makeup, and it just stays in here. And then the center part, you guys know, if you watch my weekly makeup baskets, this is all of uh, my weekly makeup. So I kind of rearranged my makeup since you guys uh, saw the saw last. <laughs> what? Um, I did it off camera after I did my winter makeup capsule. But I moved three bigger ones in here. It, I did have just two bigger ones and then a thinner one. But I like that I can fit so much more. And I don't know. It's just nice. But I do have brushes over here. And I used to dedicate a whole basket to brushes. But since we're doing a bigger winter capsule. And I wanted it all to fit in here. And then we have some new makeup in here. I think it would make sense to clean out this drawer and move the brushes over here. So that's kind of what I'm thinking today at least. So alright that's everything that's in here. And we're just going to leave that alone. Perfect. Then these products just stay on top. They're mostly liquids and lipsticks and that kind of thing. So now let's just spend time wiping this down. I'm going to put this by my sink and keep moving along. Ah, it's coming together. I will say I have rearranged this room a lot over the years. And this has been the best ar arrangement in terms of keeping it together. Um, it hasn't been as bad as it was in this video for a long time. I think it was just kind of a rush of, or I should say, it was just a few things piling up from like the holidays and vlogmas and all of that. But it is typically pretty easy for me to keep this, um, clean. I've thought about rearranging, but I really like the way my filming setup is now. So we're not going to rearrange, but there have been lots of, <laughs> I have a clean and organized playlist. You can go back and watch, but this room has been in a lot of different configurations, a lot of trial and error. Jared, do you remember when we tried to put a rug in here that you said was not going to fit and I was convinced it would fit? It didn't uh, fit. Let's see. That there... blue one? That was in our bedroom. Yeah. Do you remember when I tried to put it in here? Yeah, and I told you no way. <laughs> He's like, it's not going to fit, Abby. I was like, just let me try. And it totally did. And I recorded all of that. <laughs> it happens. Um, this chair has been in and out of this room many times. You know, it's just been through a lot of different configurations. I used to have my makeup 
in this bottom drawer. I had it before that in an old dresser. Uh, I've had it in Alex 5 drawers, but I think this is really my favorite arrangement because those Alex 5 drawers, you lose so much space um, in the back and it's hard to find organizers that fit correctly in there. I mean, I think there's more options now than there used to be, but this has been my favorite setup so far. It's just a shelf with clear bins from Amazon. Um, but anyways, I actually think I like this clear. Um, so we're just going to wipe it all down, clean the mirror, and uh, do the floor and the floorboards. And then this area, this corner of the room, will be done. It's insane how much makeup just coats this room. This, <laughs> I pulled this out and wiped behind the desk so the there's like a little edge that the mirror isn't sitting on. So that is where makeup and dust have settled. How gross makeup just like travels. Ooh. the scenes <laughs> uh, there's something that really needs to be done here if it's a picture of Morty my mom drew that's what I wore on my wedding day and then that's obviously a window <laughs> so nothing that needs to be done here and the last thing that we're gonna do over here is just wipe down the top I've reorganized my makeup on here since uh you've seen it last so um this actually doesn't go here i couldn't put it in its right spot because the room was so uh messy okay so i have reorganized this the top is all face products so face palettes um blushes highlighters bronzers all of that the second one is all eyeshadows, so smaller palettes, bigger palettes, singles, normal size palettes, all eyes, anything related to eyes is here with the exception of unopened mascaras. Those are still um, in this other bin. And then down here is all face soap powders. This bin does have some mascaras, but this is setting um, sprays, primers, and foundations. Then there is this face palette sitting here just because it's new, so I just sat it there. It came in my Fat Fit Fun. I have a lips, uh, concealers, lip uh, lipsticks. Yeah, so lips. And then these are actually a sneak peek of Project Pan items that I have picked out for the new year. That will be a video coming up soon. So I wiped down the cabinets, I mean the shelves, when we last organized this so i guess it's been a couple weeks but i think it's fine um so yeah we just need to wipe the top do the floor and we're done Alright guys, I will reinsert what the before looked like.
is the after. You remember when we walked in before well you really couldn't walk in but now we have all the floor space the makeup is organized to use in videos and to pull for weekly makeup baskets as well I did go ahead and wipe this shelf off and just kind of spread things out so it's not so cluttered a few pieces that have been up here for a long time I used to actually film my videos with this being the back wall. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, this is for videos, but that will be, um, you know, moved out soon. We went through those bins. Oh, it's so clear. It's so clear. The mirror is wiped down. All the makeup that had settled on top. Morty is so unbothered right now. Okay, we have the chair. This just kind of floats around the room depending on what we're doing in here. And then we just wiped down this area. Y'all, thanks for following along in today's video. I'm so excited to have things cleared off so we can start creating new videos, new content for the upcoming year. I hope you're all well. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.